Hey guys, what's up Scorpio? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Okay, Scorpio. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright. For some, it feels like you could be newly single, but it feels like there's a chapter that was closed in, maybe a separation from a situation or a person or something, and you're headed towards like a lot of success, especially on a financial level, but, um, or hell, on any level, but it may be kind of uh, something they are holding on to you. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Immediate future for Scorpio. If it pops up, we'll see. Oh, yeah. See? The Six of Swords and the Sun. Leo energy and the Page of Wands. That's an extremely, like, carefree, happy-ass, childlike feeling energy. If we just kind of left these cards right now. So, with the Six of Swords, you could be moving. You could be traveling. Um... But something was rocky over here, back here, kind of bumpy. And you're moving straight towards like a time of elatedness. The chariot, cancer energy, you're getting on track here. You definitely could be, you know, traveling by car or something like that. Could be also moving, but you're, you're regaining some type of balance here. The emperor, Aries energy. Could be dealing with the Aries. Yeah, see, you're making a decision here and you're moving forward. You're on your way. Like I said, wow, you're on your way to your four of wands. You could be going to somebody's house. It could just be that simple. But if it has been like a difficult time back here in the past, you're moving forward and leaving that behind and going towards a place of stability. Definitely could just be true like moving traveling could be moving into a new house you could be moving in with someone show me the sun for scorpio that's a nice energy show me the sun please for scorpio yeah there's some type of it's either communication this could be around work it feels like it's something that you kind of waited on here, um, but it 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 could be communication that makes you really happy. If not, it's just this forward movement. Travel is definitely possible here. Yeah, the justice, Libra energy. It feels like things are, you know, coming towards a very balanced place for you. This communication could do it or this, this change in general, just this forward movement and direction here. And you're moving on to manifest. And the Emperor here and the Magician, powerful manifestor. So, um, manifest away. Because that is indicating that you have... Oh, you're keeping it to yourself. Which is smart. Because when you're manifesting... Um, and the thing is... Okay, so when you're manifesting, you're supposed to keep that close to yourself. Don't go telling all kinds of people until you get like to this four of wands towards something stable or things like that. Hell, you may just be surprising somebody. But also, so this is where you're at, the two of wands, but you're headed to your four of wands. So um, there is like a good communication here, a phone call, some type of opportunity. It could be around a legal situation in which the page of pentacles can indicate, you know, a positive direction. Can indicate good news but i don't want to get anyone's hopes up fuck the king of cups your energy the ace of wands and the ten of pentacles that for some this could be a job offer that brings a lot of stability you could be moving into a new home you could be going to somebody's house but whatever you're manifesting here is going to bring you like a, a lot of it's either family could be money could be like a legal win here 
this is stable. This is abundance. This is commitment. However, it's resonating for you. Show me this page of wands. It's like some type of either communication or um, or just forward movement that's coming towards you that you're about to be manifesting it is about to make you so happy. Hmm. Okay. All right. So for some, this could even go so far as like literally asking somebody to move in. This could go towards, for some, a marriage proposal. But look, the thing is, so there's happiness around this communication as the as the outcome. It's like there's an ecstaticness that comes. But then we have this Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Um, so either this person may have hurt you in the past and there's some regrets, so they're kind of worried about coming towards you and asking you this. But it also feels like... Um, because the nine of swords is here somebody is stressing and worrying possibly like about the wrong thing um not saying for all situations but focusing on what's built here and not what's here because this person is approaching it with a hell of an offer it looks like but um there is some worry and for some it's just like self-doubt like there's no need to be worried because this is just anxiety and fear and things like that for some, they may feel like you have competition around the situation. And for others, they're trying to reconcile. If this is a person. But why the Five of Cups? The Ace of Cups. Because they want to... This is new love. Uh, it could be rekindling something here. But you have a hell of an offer coming towards you. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. For some, they're just nervous that you're going to reject this. But this is a hell of an offer. Alright, Scorpio. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.